Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com and today I have an art journaling process video for you. I'm working in my Dina Wakely Media Journal, kind of slowly but surely working through. And I'm turning to a new page. Today I am going to try just doing a one page spread. So I'm working with this cutout from a real simple magazine as my jumping off point. I have some acrylic paints pulled and some acrylic paint pens that I plan to work with. So I will put you all on fast forward. I will put everything I end up using below. Otherwise, let's go. I am going to start out by trimming out this coffee cup picture. This actually ends up being a really simple spread and I love it. It's been a long time since I've done just a single page and it was super tempting to continue on to the next page, but I really wanted to focus on doing a single page one. So I'm going to sketch out some lines. I know I want some lines kind of coming out from the coffee cup, like it is emanating wisdom of all sorts. So I'm sketching them out because I'm going to use that acrylic paint over to the right, that Jane Davenport paint to paint it out. And I don't trust myself to um, do those lines very straight on the fly by freehand. So just adding those lines in and then I will come back with the acrylic paint. So I end up having one extra line because I didn't count. So I kind of fix that when I start painting because I want it to go every other color. So I have this pink, it's really subtle pink color and I will just speed this up a ton and fill in all of these lines with the acrylic paint. I end up opting to not paint it solid. So you can see it's kind of feathered out. I have the solid lines going all the way out, but then I don't fill it all in. I don't want to lose the blue jean. That's one of the great things about this particular art journal is that you have all of these different materials that you're working on top of. And I don't want to just ignore that and cover them up completely, at least not all the time. So for this page, I wanted to leave some of that blue jean showing not just the texture but the actual color in there and I think it I think it ends up really nice so again I'm alternating between these two Jane Davenport colors it gets pretty good coverage I do end up deciding to go back in with another layer on top of these just to fill it in a little bit more because when I pick up my coffee cup and kind of put it over the top of it you can see I'm like, oh, I don't feel like it comes out enough from the coffee cup. It's a really big image that I've cut out of the magazine and I don't want it to cover up all of these colors completely. So I'm cutting out the little whole little less part in the coffee cup where the handle was. And now I have my Dina Wakely media tool. And this was a super fun technique that I fell in love with. And you're going to see that I am doing it over and over and over and over. So this media tool has like a sharp rubber edge and I'm using a little bit of bright yellow, which there is some yellow in that coffee cup, cup image. And I am just drawing these lines and it's accomplishing two things. It's putting in hints of yellow, nothing too overwhelming, just hints here and there. And then it's also creating more texture because the acrylic paint that I was working on top of was not completely dry. And so dragging this element through it was adding more texture, which I was loving. And so I decided, you know what, I'm going to continue doing this. And I stick with the hot pink and the yellow. I pull it up farther. It was just an effect that I fell in love with. And it was so relaxing, this repetitive motion that I was doing. Um, I just loved it. I loved adding the bits here and there. I was falling in love with the effect that it was giving. I almost just wanted to leave the page like this. It was so fun to play with that media tool and to see see what was coming from it. This is some white gesso that I just added to my paint palette over here. And I'm going to do that because I wanted to bring a little bit more brightness. So that kind of off white peachy color that is um, on the thing was just bringing it, it just was losing some brightness to me. Everything was feeling a little bit dull. I liked the pops of the yellow and the bright pink and I thought some white would be beneficial also. So I come through with the white as well, just adding all of these little lines and marks and loving, loving, loving it. Now I just can't get enough of it. So now I have my 
um, acrylic paint pen. This is the Arteza acrylic paint pen. I have them in a bunch of colors, which is what I love about that particular set is that you get so many different colors. I have my gold and the silver, and it's a little bit hard to see here on camera, but they do have a shimmer, a metallic quality to them, which I think really does brighten up the page a whole lot once it catches the light and you have that little bit of shimmer. Now I'm coming in with some darker magenta pink. Look how it's just evolving. I am just loving this explosion from behind the coffee cup because that is how I feel most mornings. I need that magical coffee cup to give me all of the energy to be with my kids um, all morning long and to keep up with three kids uh, that are having summer with no pool to get out the energy, we have to do a lot of things to get our energy out and mommy needs all of the coffee, that is for sure. I am painting the back of my coffee, coffee cup with the Liquitex Matte Gel Medium so that it will stick on this denim and then I will go over the top of it. I did make sure that the acrylic paint underneath was dry first before I, um, before I went over the top of it so that it wouldn't smear or anything like that. So getting that nice and covered, sealed on all the edges so that it will have a good adhesion and not kind of curl up or peel. At this point, I love the page as is. I was tempted to leave it just like that. I'm adding a few more little paint marks that kind of overlap the coffee cup to bring it in. But in the end, I decide that I want to add just a little bit more. That just seems like it's missing something to me. And so I'm trying to figure out how I want to add some steam marks coming up from the coffee cup. I grab my black paint pen and I'm sketching in just a few freehanded steam marks here. And I like how they're coming out. I will end up making them a bit more bold go over them and I do like how they came out but the black kind of throws me off I kind of wish I'd done another color I'm not sure it ends up being a little stark for me and that seems to be the only place where there's black on the page so it feels just a little bit out of balance so what I end up doing is deciding to add some lettering at the bottom and I love that the coffee cup says the mother of all wisdom and then I'm gonna add but first coffee because that's how I feel in the mornings. I have a lot of wisdom to share maybe, but first I have to have the coffee. I need the caffeine. So adding that lettering, making it nice and bold there on the bottom by going over it a couple of times with that um, Arteza paint pen. And then I actually end up coming over the top of that steam one more time to make that just a bit bolder as well. Here you see me using my Nuvo Crystal Drops in this bright yellow, and I'm adding just a little bit of highlight to some of these letters at the bottom, and I feel like bringing that yellow down into those letters really helps incorporate them into the page, and then I will end up also using this yellow to add more dimension to the rest of the page. I am loving my Nuvo Crystal Drops recently. It's like I've rediscovered them. I've had them for a couple years and just used to use them all the time and haven't used them recently. And so now I'm adding these little heart check marks on different parts of the page just to bring that yellow up even more. So I'll add a few of those and then I will end up grabbing for another color, um, a bright pink and working with that as well to add in um, just a little bit more color. Here's the moment where I decide to darken up those steam lines just a little bit more. And then what I actually end up doing is overlapping some of these crystal drops onto the steam lines, which I like a lot. And then I will fill the coffee cup with these same little heart marks with these crystal drops and all of the colors and I like how that kind of brings it all together. This one was a different kind of art journaling page for me. I love seeing how they just come together in different ways. It was weird for me to do just a one page spread but I love the lines behind it and I really learned a lot about a technique that I enjoyed which was working with that media tool. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. I will make sure to link all the supplies down below and I also have a link to join my email newsletter that goes out every couple of weeks talking about crafty tips and organization hacks, so make sure you check that out. 
I hope that you have a fabulous day. And as always, keep it creative.